Text 2. A new documentary shows what teens do on social media. Social media can have many benefits to teens. It can also be harmful. CNN made a special report about how kids use social media. It is called Hashtag Being 13, The Inside of the Secret World of Teens. More than 200 8th graders took part in the study. They answered surveys about how they use social media. Their parents answered similar surveys about how their kids use social media. Then teens went online. An app tracked what they actually did. Researchers found that more teens look at social media, the more distressed then they can become. The researchers found that many teens lurked on social media. Lurking means that they read what others posted but did not post anything themselves. On weekends, more than one-third of teens check social media at least 25 times a day without posting anything. Some were checking it to see if the posts they did got any likes or comments. <clears throat> Others saw pictures of their friends doing things without them. Many said those pictures made them feel left out. The study also found that social media can help teens. It gives them a way to connect. One researcher, Dr. Marion Underwood, says that social media is a way for teens to see what people are doing. It's a way for them to feel affirmed, supported, lifted up. Young people use social media to exercise positive leadership all the time. Other research supports this idea. Common Sense Media did a survey in 2012. It found that 20% of teens said that social media made them feel confident. And half of the teens said social media made their friendships better. The Pew Research Center also confirms this. More than half the teens they surveyed had made a new friend online. But social media doesn't just let kids connect to friends. It can also help kids learn. Kids can join virtual study groups and others from around the globe. Students can work together on group projects. They can talk with experts. Some kids have even used social media to fight for change. When Isadora Faber was 13 years old, she was a student in Brazil. Her school was in despair. The bathrooms had been broken doors and dangerous electrical wires. She showed photos of these problems on her Facebook page. The problems were fixed. She continues to post about problems at the school. By early 2016, her page had more than half a million likes. Isadora has inspired other students to take action. Others have made their own Facebook pages to help raise awareness of problems in Brazil's public schools. Isadora's school is not unique. Many other teens are making a difference through social media. There's even an award for teen activists who use social media. It's called the Social Media Short Shorty Award for the Best Teen Activist. Parents have many concerns about social media. Some feel that 13 is too young to have accounts on sites like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Parents are concerned about their kids' safety online. They worry about advertising aimed at their kids. They are concerned that social media is simply too distracting. But social media is here to stay. There are many benefits to kids using social media, but they need to use it wisely. Parents can help by teaching their teens how to avoid certain problems. They should set rules for kids to follow and monitor their teens' social media use. Article from the local newspaper. Text 3. All 13-year-olds should get to have accounts on social media sites. I'm making this speech because all kids should be able to have social media accounts. Some kids like me are not allowed to have accounts on these sites. That is not fair. All the adults in the world are looking at new photos of their friends' posts and reading about all the new things their friends are doing. It's not fair that kids can't do that. We have friends too, and we would like to know what they are doing. Just because we're kids doesn't mean that we don't keep in touch with our friends. Going on social media lets us be more connected with our friends. Parents should let their kids be on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and other sites they would want. Sometimes we make friends with people we don't get to see a lot. Social media could help us stay in touch with those friends. For example, last summer I went to visit my grandparents and made a new friend, Rose. I never get to see her because she lives far away. If I was allowed to get on social media, I could see photos and stay in touch with her. Even kids who don't really talk that much in class can feel included on social media. You can look at someone's picture and like it. You don't have to say anything. Or you can just ask a question about a post someone made. Sometimes it is easier to ask a question online than it is to ask a question in person. But if you're not allowed to go on social media, like me, you feel totally left out. Social media can also help teens do better in school. For example, it can, one, help you with homework. If you have a question about your homework, you can post the question. Other people in your class can respond and help you, or you can have a conversation about something you are learning. You can join groups or follow people who are interested in the same things you are, and you can learn from them. 
Social media can help kids do well in school. Some people say that kids are mean when they go on social media. Only one person I know has, to, has been mean on social media online, and everyone else told him to stop. Some people are even unfriend him. Parents, you should let your teens have accounts to be on different social media sites as soon as they turn 13, and I think even earlier than that. Jess, age 13. Now answer questions 2 and 3.